without wasting time uh, how is child abuse uh, related to internet child abuse is uh, done by parents okay so child abuse is done by parents or caretaker now from the picture itself you can see the caretaker or the mother whoever uh, he or she is so what happened she is uh, what she is doing she is uh, using the laptop okay or doing some official work or may not be official uh, she may be doing watching some web series huh so so as a result there is too much of influence of the internet that is why it may result in child abuse okay so it, it results in child abuse then characteristics of women at risk for child abuse by looking at the women how can you know that there may be risk of child abuse any idea can anybody share anything okay characteristics of women uh, at risk for children child abuse so women who are sing i told you already in the previous class women who are single parent they have to handle can you see this picture the single women is doing so much of thing okay cooking washing office work everything so and then this this can be one character this can be one character uh, where um, you can you know that the woman is at a risk of uh, committing child abuse okay and then uh, again if the age is too low if the if the mother is of a less age say a teenage mother have you heard of teenage pregnancy teenage mother so this may be a cause for child abuse and um, too much work at workplace she is a working woman if she is a working woman all alone single handedly she has to do all so work stress because of work stress they may um, what uh, they may divert the stress to their children or okay and then you uh, can you see this picture in this picture children they are exploring the internet and then they can they see all sorts of uh, things inappropriate things from the internet and this also results in child abuse it may be abuse it may be there are different forms of abuse i told you already so it may be child abuse not beating and thrashing it may be uh, abuse of say um, sexual abuse it may be the result and in child abuse and internet what may the may be the cause so because the mother the caretaker is too much busy with the internet internet is so many things internet means games internet means social media so many things so because of that they may not give attention to the children so it may cause negligence or neglect or emotional uh, abuse do you understand so now let us see the role of a nurse in child abuse this is more important for us to know what is our role just by knowing what is child abuse is not enough so we have to know the role of child uh, of a nurse in child abuse so there the role there we can categorize the role in different uh, headings so when the child reports abuse or possible abuse so where what is the role of a nurse when so what is the role of a nurse when the when the child reports abuse or may uh, may present possible abuse the child may not directly report abuse but it may um, she may the child may show chances of possible abuse okay so from where do you want what do you understand if the child reports the abuse we have to Uh, you have to take we have to assume a non judgmental attitude we should not make any judgment we have to just first is we have to listen to the child calmly okay and if the child is in danger or any anything then we have then uh, we have to provide protection and comfort make the child comfortable first then only you have to ask question okay then suppose the child is is a very cold weather and the child is wearing inappropriate clothes so make the child feel warm give something to eat make the child comfortable then only ask questions but before asking you have to listen to the child calmly 
okay make sure that the child is not in physical discomfort so you have to see that the child is not in any kind of discomfort then do not ask too many questions so from your knowledge of psychiatry nursing you must be knowing that we should not bombard any child anybody in a mental distress we should not bombard with our questions okay so we have to ask questions slowly maybe one by one okay not all together first ask the question wait for some time and listen calmly it is not an examination that the judge will ask a question and she will like a viva the child will answer you very quickly not like that okay then contact the appropriate authorities to report abuse abuse is something which becomes a legal affair okay so abuse is a legal affair and we have to know where to complain the nurse is supposed to know where to report the abuse okay and then after all the legal proceedings are complete the child must be taken to the therapist after legal proceeding everything is completed the child must be taken to a therapist because the therapist will best know how to handle the child what care to provide first is care then the questions okay then make necessary arrangements to protect the child so if the child make make necessary arrangement means what if the child is a, with a caretaker who is abusing the child then you have to try to remove the child from the abuser okay by any method maybe uh, judicial custody or maybe send to a care home or something okay next so first is when the child reports abuse next the medical evaluation then we have to do the medical evaluation the medical evaluation of the child what it should contain okay who will read out uh, yeah fiba sinkri please read out ma please read out this line the medical evaluation consists of obtaining history of injury and physical examination it will assess the severity of the disorder clinical evidence physical examination of children mobilized have been maintained Okay, thank you. So from this, what do you understand? What medical evaluation you have to do? You have to not only uh, you do not have to only take the examine the child, but you have to examine the other siblings of the child also to see that whether there is a pattern of abuse at home with other siblings also. Then. have to take x rays to find out if there is any fracture if there is any healing fracture or any injury then obtain history of injury and physical examination so we have to first for any evaluation first is what first is history taking right then only physical examination and history taking then history of injury whole body should be examined for any history of any suggestion of injury okay then physical examination of the Sibling. So I told you already. Then mobilize child abuse management team. So every in every city in every place there is a child abuse management team who takes care of the children who are being abused. So that one we have to mobilize. We have to see when it when the examiner, when the doctor and the team is satisfied that this is a case of child abuse. Then the child abuse team has to be mobilized. Next a behavioral. screening so uh, all of you know what is mental health mental uh, status examination from psychiatry nursing yes ma'am so yes ma yes very good so mental status examination is not only um, for mental status examination is not only for adult but it uh, it can be also carried out for children accordingly according to age so behavioral screening has to be done also a mental status examination should be done to see whether this abuse has affected the child mentally also okay then a developmental screening for infants and toddlers so a developmental screening is means what so you already have got classes on growth and development so a developmental screening for infants means uh means uh, whatever is expected for the infant at that age or toddler of that age to do 
we have to see we have to screen to see that whether the children can do all the activities or not okay number c is doctor's role in assessment and management of sexually abused children now if a child is sexually abused then what is the doctor's role take a full medical history without details who can you tell me why without details well because if if you take full details there might be some trauma that the girl still have so it yes. might so, cause the girl uh, and, and you you have to be clear that sexual abuse is not for girl only okay manase and the class sexual abuse is not yeah. only for a girl it may occur for any child hmm so we have yes, to forget we have to remember that it any any gender child may be affected by sexual abuse so whatever it is since sexual abuse is a different kind of abuse so we will refrain from taking uh, details we will just ask and examine okay okay the next is next point complete physical examination hmm next collect medical legal collect medical legal evidence Yes. Uh, less than seventy-two hours. What is the importance Do of this hour? Do further investigations. Can you tell me? Explain findings to pay parent. Hmm. Yes. Next. Achieve safety of child. Next. Age, racial, and follow-up treatment. Okay. Thank you. See, in this one, no. in no. point, yes, tell. Okay. So point number three. Point number three: Collect medical legal evidence less than seventy-two hours. Can anybody in the class tell what is uh, the importance of the seventy-two hours? Can you see my slide? Can you tell me the importance of less than seventy-two hours? What will have have happen after seventy-two hours that we have to take uh, from? A medical legal evidence before seventy-two hours. What may happen? Because, ma'am, uh, within seventy-two hours, you can see the uh, signs and symptoms. But after that, the image is appear. Signs and symptoms? No, my dear. Not like that. Not signs and symptoms. Listen, all of you. Okay. So, what happens if a child is sexually abused? What happens is, um, if a child is sexually abused, what will happen is. um the the abuser may uh, abuser may rape sexual abuse of are of different types one is rape okay there are context sexual abuse non context sexual abuse so um, the one of uh, such a one one may be um, rape so in rape after 72 hours they cannot collect any uh, semen from the child's body Okay, because the sperm will die after seventy-two hours. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. That is why we have to collect <coughs> medical legal evidence before seventy-two hours. Okay, then do further investigation. You can understand that. Explain findings to the parents yes, after examination. Whatever findings you have got, you have to explain that to the parents. Then you have to see that the child is safe. And then, after doing thorough examination, the child has to be referred to for a follow-up treatment so that physical and mental trauma can be reduced. Any questions here? If you have any questions at the end of the class, you can ask. Okay. Now, this is prevention of child abuse. So we know. Uh, child abuse is a very very uh, important uh, issue in our society and the different forms of child abuse and most important is that when we hit a child when we school a child we think that it is normal parents and caretaker they have to do that we think like that but actually it is a form of child abuse that is why the society has to know that this is what is going on is not correct it is wrong okay so we have to teach the society society belong society means what schools community families caretakers parents okay so they have to 
know that this is child abuse and it is wrong. That is why and we have to do prevention of child abuse. Now prevention of child abuse, what we have to do? How can we do prevention of child abuse? First is advocate for high school courses on parenting. Do you know how important is parenting? And if para, um, not having a baby, everyone can have. Okay? But parenting is something which is a very responsible issue. That is why when the children are in high school, where it is very important for to introduce classes on parenting to the high school children. Because at this age, due to many other social factors, they, it may result in teenage pregnancy, teenage mothers and as a result what happens there is more of child abuse in the society because uh, they cannot um, because they don't know how to take care of child and they know what is wrong with child abuse they do not know the concept of child abuse that is why that is why it is very important to introduce courses on parenting to the schools Till now we do not have such courses, but to prevent child abuse, this is a very important step. Okay? Next is, help children learn problem solving technique. In the last class also I have told you about defense mechanism, coping ability. Do you remember? So I'm telling, I was telling you that we have to teach children problem solving techniques from childhood itself we have to teach that in school at home everywhere we should not do solve all their problems on our own because when they grow up okay they will when they grow up they when they are mature nobody will help them to solve their problems so if they learn to solve their problems from young age and they will be a responsible parent otherwise Suppose a mother who do not, who doesn't know problem solving techniques, who do not have no defense mechanism, problem coping techniques, what the, this child, this mother does at home, suppose myself, at in college I have some issues with the principal or the other teacher, I go home, I go back home and I cannot solve my problem, I am so angry, I hit my children, okay, so this occurs because I do not have problem solving techniques, I do not know and as a result I abuse my children to decrease my anger. Do you understand? So very important children should learn problem solving techniques. The next is foster high self esteem in children so that they do not depend on others. This is important. So children they should learn life skills so that they do not, for small small things, they do not depend on others. According to age, whatever they can do on their own, they should be able to do. Parents should give them enough opportunity so that they do that. Okay? They should do and they should not depend on the parents or any seniors or elders at home. Then only they will grow up as responsible adults or responsible parents. Okay? Next is teach children to verbalize their problems. If a child has any problem, anything, it may be uh, however small it is, however big it is, the child should know that talking to the caretaker, talking to an elder, parent or anybody is important whenever they have problem. So that was child abuse and this is the better child syndrome. Okay? It, though it is uh, in the same topic, it is little bit different, not very different, but it is a little bit different from child abuse. But this better child syndrome is a consequence of child abuse. Okay? Uh, the better child syndrome, the definition, better child syndrome refers to non accidental injuries sustained by a child as a result of physical abuse, usually inflicted by an adult. The clinical manifestations are in general, skin lesions, fracture, internal injuries, the background of parents. Okay, background of parents, I will tell you. So, better child syndrome. What is better child syndrome? It refers to non accidental injuries. This is very important. Injuries that occurs not because of accident but because of intention. 
somebody intentionally hits the child causes injury in the child that kind of that child is known as battered child battered means beaten up okay sustained by a child as a result of physical abuse and battered child is related to physical abuse okay not any other form of abuse but physical abuse inflicted by an adult the adult may be parent or caretaker anybody so clinical manifestations by by seeing the child how do you know the child is a battered child the child will have several skin lesions okay maybe in the face maybe back body maybe the lesions may be cuts may be burns okay then multiple fractures will be there there might be internal injuries okay and then in background of parents background of parents means you have to take a proper history of the parents all the causes all the factors that i told you of parents hmm generally more than 80% of that are present understood Okay. Yes, yes. Now, next is how do you diagnose a battered child syndrome? Let us discuss this. How do you diagnose a battered child? Very easy. I have already told you. Nurses' role in child abuse. I told you, isn't it? So, what all you will do when the child come? Let us discuss. Give me some points. What you will do when a child comes? Where you can. when you uh, suspect any abuse what are the things that you will look for what you will do history taking and all what you will do give me one by one points yes first arka trishita please tell me what you will do as a nurse if a child you suspect that the child is a, is undergoing abuse what you will do um How you diagnose that? This how you diagnose. I am asking you about the diagnosis. Remember that, okay? How you will diagnose? How you will make sure that the child is really undergoing abuse? Ma'am, we will look for signs of physical abuse or physical uh, examination. Okay, physical sort of physical examination. For we will look for what in the examination? Any marks of burn or bruises mm-hmm. or um any skin lacerations okay or okay fine okay okay understood, okay, okay. understood. then i b yes what else so alka has told about physical examination look for skin lesions everything then what else how uh, what with what else can we diagnose a physical abuse mental status examination mental status examination it is not directly related but it may be related what else in behavior of the child in behavior screening these are all together it will come later on first what you will do if you remember if you i will show you the slide once more if you Uh, if you remember this doctor's role though it is written doctor's role but we we have to know okay so complete physical examination alka has already told medical history nursing history will be same then for the investigations x ray and all do you remember x ray yes yes ma'am yes trauma x ray any yes, bleeding disorder so all these things we have to see okay what else we have to also take the do the physical examination of the siblings we have to take interview or history of the parents or the caretaker separately understood separately not together okay now prognosis um, prognosis will depend on the extent of child abuse and uh, how long uh, the child has been uh, to- tolerating abuse what is the age of the child okay and what kind of abuse it is so prognosis will depend all on that and management will be different for different type of abuse okay but whatever is the management first management will be removing the child from the abuser 
the one who is abusing the child the child has to be removed from the abuser fine the child has to be kept safely in a safety home under protection okay any question so today the class is over for child abuse and battered child so do you have any questions regarding the whole class you can ask there are still 5 minutes i can have time no questions you understand everything do you have any questions ma'am yes i cannot i cannot hear you properly <laughs> squinting how squinting is related to abuse i told you last time i will check or i told you told you to check <laughs> you didn't get actually there is a book i have not checked i didn't get time i will find out okay i will find out i the book is with me only i didn't get time squinting is very important squinting is an aspect of child abuse sometimes you will not find any other any other symptom but squinting is there okay and then uh, one one effect of squinting is like this during the developmental age because the child is exposed to abuse developmental age remember developmental so when the child is learning the social skills hand eye coordination all those if the child is has undergone abuse then squinting may be there okay because the coordination may not have developed properly okay one is that and another one is that you have to remember that every child who has squinting does not mean that the child has is exposed to abuse does not mean okay but squinting is a is a manifestation of abuse but every child who has squinting does not mean the child is exposed to abuse okay i told you to do a homework regarding consequences of neglect okay so the class is class is uh, finished for today and in the next class i will talk about growth and development after one year okay so zero to one year your class is over and i will take class on growth and development after one year okay thank you